start a collective within the Manchester scene uh, that was really aesthetic focused. Because uh, a lot of the arts, you know, in Manchester is, is booming and good. We wanted to really focus in on a specific like part of graphic design, which I felt that was quite missing from the art scene in Manchester, mostly graphic design and magazine making and photography all being paired together. And then the other one, I just want to cover the same whole space. So I basically want the same. I mean, we're doing a series at the moment where we're um, redesigning unspecific gallery spaces. So we're taking kind of basements, of businesses or music venues or um, you know old empty shop fronts basically places that are normally used for business but we're, we're taking them over and turning them into like an immersive space for the evening or for the weekend I made the desire banner which was the the double s printed over and over again on fabric and that was kind of like a little riff on branding and over branding and how like everything the, in this day and age has like logos all over it and then I did some pieces of work that were like anonymously generated um, portraits, uh, photography. So I used this Google generator to uh, generate faces from all different portraits on, on, the, on the internet. It pulls them together and it has like eyes from someone, nose from someone else. Until I found two that I thought like had it invoked a feeling in me and then put like a graphics treatment and turned them into kind of like uh, three color print, tri-color graphics. We worked on a, a zine with a couple of guys, a guy from London and a guy from um, Paris, uh, JC and Ty. Uh, it was Ordinary Fragments, whereas they were going to like kind of weird parts of London and Paris and they were all about texture. So they were kind of videoing, taking photos of things like this, like where buildings and textures meet. And I found that a lot more interesting than some of the other stuff that I've seen. So we were working with them and a lot of our work's like things that you see every day but not necessarily you focus on. So like the textures and the corners and, and I think that's all going along with Desire's aesthetic in that, in the way that it's mysterious and it's kind of unobvious. Crack Magazine is just a really great print magazine that we work with um, and it's great working with them because they kind of just let you do what you want as long as it fits with the magazine and their aesthetic is so good and and it's a free magazine as well, which is something that's another art in the UK that's dying, the, the free art magazine. The, a lot of the photographers we work with have a real keen eye for design in their photography work, even you, for example. Inviting collaboration within design, but you don't have to be a designer. So that's kind of a really important thing for us.